In this tutorial, we will learn a powerful tip on Ketia. What you can see here is a concentric circle being padded with a thick profile. If you have to do this, making individual profiles, it's going to take a very long time. Here I'm going to show you a simple tip in the Sketcher workbench where you can create separate profiles which could be used to do the padding. Say I'll get into a sketch and uh, go into the XY plane and firstly I will make a sketch Now I will exit the sketch. Before exiting the sketch, what I would do is I will select all the different lines in this. So I'll do that by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve lines. I will use the offset command and in the instances I would give 4 and in the offset I would specify 5. As you can see now totally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 profiles are there and there is an option called as profile feature. If I try to exit this if I do the pad, give the tick option, I would be able to do the pad, tick pad for all of the five, five profiles but at the same height. So we have an option to extract or to use individual profiles inside the sketcher by isolating each profile using the output feature, the profile feature. Double click on the profile feature and select the profile that you would like to isolate. Click on OK. Isolate. Click on OK. If you look at the output, you will be able to find each profile are being created. Click. OK. Click. OK. And click. OK. So that creates all the profiles. Now let's exit the sketch and I will hide this sketch here and then you can use these profiles to do any operations that you would like. You could even use this profile to for wireframe and surface design. You could even use one of the profile, one of the profile to do the extrude and any one of the profile to do the fill command and another profile to do the pad option the tick pad and any other profile could be used like a normal curve from the uh, wireframe and surface design. So that's about the that's about today's tip, a powerful tip on uh, Ketia. This tip could be used based on uh, your level of understanding. So I will explain another way. For example, if you just edit one of these lines. you will be able to see the same result being reflected. So this is even parameters driven. If you just give a dimension here, click on OK. And if you try to relate that dimension 
if you relate this dimension to any of the parameters and if you change the parameter from the uh, from here that that particular change also will be affected uh, on the model so that are the different ways that you, that you can uh, play with uh, the options in Kitsia. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you.